Hi dear students, welcome to Geeta's classes. In this class, we are going to find out the Laplace transform of periodic function. In the previous classes, we have seen the Laplace transform of the basic functions, first shifting theorem, when the function is multiplied by t per n divided by t, and the Laplace transform of derivatives, integrals, and we have evaluated some integrals also using Laplace transform. Now, periodic function. What do you mean by periodic function? This is the definition. A function. Before that, I will give you an example. Then we will come to the definition. Okay. Suppose if you consider f of t is equal to sin t. Okay. When t is equal to 0, then what will be our sin t? f of t will be sin 0, which is 0. What is the point? 0, 0. When t is equal to pi by 2, then f of t is equal to sin pi by 2 which is 1. And when t is equal to 2 pi by 2 that is pi, then f of t is equal to sin pi which is 0. When t is equal to 3 pi by 2, then f of t will be minus 1, sin 3 pi by 2 which is minus 1. Similarly, when yes, uh, t is equal to 4 pi by 2, that is 2 pi, then f of t will be 0. Similarly, when t is equal to 5 pi by 2, then f of t will be equal to plus 1 and so on. So, how will you draw this curve? Suppose here I am taking the value t and here f of t f of t is equal to sin t. Okay. So, here 0, then pi by 2, pi, 2 pi by 2, uh, pi that is 3 pi by 2, next is 3 pi by 2, then 2 pi, 4 pi by 2 which is 2 pi, then 5 pi by 2 and so on. So, for 0, it is 0. This is first point, 0 comma 0. Here for the second point, it is 0, pi by 2 comma 1. And 2 pi by 2, that is pi comma 0. Then 3 pi by 2 comma minus 1. These are the points you can plot. plot. 2 pi comma 0. Then 5 pi by 2 comma 1 and so on. So for pi by 2, it is 1. Suppose if this is 1. In the y-axis, it is 1, 2 and so on. So this is, what is this point? Pi by 2 comma 1. Okay. Next is pi comma 0, this point. Then for 3 pi by 2, it will be minus 1. So this side. Then for 2 pi, it is 0. Then next value will be 1 and so on. Okay. So here if you draw this curve. So up to 2 pi, it is same. Next, it will go to the same thing actually. From 0 to 2 pi, whatever we had. The same thing will be repeated from 2 pi to 4 pi also. Okay. The same curve will be repeated 2 pi to 4 pi, then 4 pi to 6 pi, 6 pi to 8 pi and so on. Therefore, the same uh, values are getting repeated. What is that 0 to where, where it is repeated 0 to 2 pi, then 2 pi to 4 pi. So, what is that value? The 2 pi is called the period. Okay, And for 2 pi period, it is getting repeated. Therefore, it is a periodic function of period 2 pi. Okay. Now, if you read the definition, you will understand. A function f of t is said to be periodic if and only if f of t plus t, t plus capital T is equal to f of t for some value of capital T. So, here capital two, t is 2 pi. In that example, we have seen. Uh, capital T will be 2 pi and for every value of T that is T plus small t plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus everything. Okay. So, the smallest positive value of T for which this equation is true for every value of T is called the period of the function. That is the same thing can be written as f of T is equal to f of T plus capital T plus f of T plus capital uh, 2 into capital T and so on. In general, we can write f of t plus nt is equal to f of t. Okay, And uh, this is a property of this uh, periodic function. If t is the period of f of t, 
Then if you want to find out f of t, a t plus b, then it will be t by a. Okay. So now let us find out the Laplace transform of the periodic function. So if f of t is a periodic function of period capital T, then the Laplace transform is given by, this is the formula you have to remember. So integral 1 by 1 minus e power minus s into t integral 0 to t e power minus t f of t dt. By seeing this, don't write it as L of f of t because the limits are different. It is not 0 to infinity. If it is 0 to infinity, then only you can write it as L of f of t. Okay. So here the limits are 0 to t. It is not infinity. So don't write it as L of f of t. By seeing this, you may feel like, okay, this is L of f of t. No, it is not L of f of t. It is uh, integral 0 to capital T. Okay. So now let us prove this theorem. So, if this means what? It is a periodic function of t, right? Therefore, 0, then t, then 2t, 3t and so on. So, 0 to t, whatever is defined, the same thing is repeated for uh, t to 2t also. Similarly, the same function is repeated from 2t to 3t and so on. Okay, so this is a periodic function of cap period capital T. So, by definition, what is our L of f of t? Assume that f of t, let f of t be a periodic function. Of period t. Okay. So, by definition, what is L of f of t? Integral 0 to infinity. E power minus t into f of t dt. But what do you know? From 0 to t it is defined and t to 2t it is the same function and so on. So I am going to split it. So L of f of t is equal to integral 0 to t e power minus s t f of t dt plus integral t to 2t e power minus s t f of t dt plus integral 2t to 3t e power minus st f of t dt plus etc. It goes on like this. Let this be equation number 1. Now, from equation number 1, now I am going to express the second integral, third integral, every integral in terms of the first integral. Okay. So, how consider the second integral? Second integral of 1. What is that integral? t to 2t. So, in which you substitute put t is equal to u plus capital T. Okay. So, this implies u is equal to small t minus capital T. Okay. So, whenever you are changing the variable from one variable t to u, I am going to change the variable from small t to u. Whenever you are changing the variable, remaining three more things you have to do. One is dt. dt is equal to du and capital T is a constant. So, it will become zero when you are differentiating. Okay. So, one thing and two more uh, values you have to find out that is the lower limit and upper limit. Okay. So, when small t is equal to capital T, what is our u? Capital T minus capital T which is zero. And upper limit, when capital uh, small t is equal to 2 into capital T, then u is equal to 2t minus t, which is capital T. Therefore, the second integral becomes t to 2t e power minus s t into f of t dt is equal to integral 0 to t. Okay, I am going to change from t to u. So, e power minus into t is what? u plus capital T. Okay. Into f of t plus, sorry, u plus capital T into dt is what? du. Okay. This is equal to integral 0 to capital T e power minus s u into e power minus s into capital T. And this can be written as f of u du. Why I can write like this f of u plus t I am writing it as f of u because we have assumed that the function is a periodic function of period t. The, this implies f of t is equal to f of 
T plus capital T plus F of, uh, sorry, equal to not plus, equal to F of T plus 2T and so on, right? So, F of T plus T is equal to capital T. So, in the place of T, I have small T. In the place of small T, I have small U. No problem because it is a dummy variable. See, with respect to U, you are integrating and you are substituting the limits, right? So, after that, u will not be there that means u is a dummy variable whether you have in the place of u whether you have x or t or any other variable no problem okay so it is a variable for with respect to that variable only you are integrating and substituting the limits therefore there will not be any change even if you write a small t or u or anything nothing will happen okay that's why it is called dummy variable because it is dummy variable i can write it as uh, u or t anything now, this is integration with respect. That's why now f of u plus t is equal to. So, here you can write the reason. Because f of t is a periodic function. Function of period. Capital T. Okay. Periodic function of period capital T. So, this is the reason you are writing f of u plus t is equal to f of u. Now, the integration is with respect to u. So, this term e power minus st is independent of u. So, I can take it outside. Therefore, integral t to 2t e power minus st f of t dt can be written as e power minus s into capital T. I am taking it outside. So, remaining will be e power minus su, f of u, du. The same thing can be written as e power minus s into capital T, 0 to t, e power minus s, t, f of t, dt, because u is a dummy variable. In the place of u, I can write any variable, because it is dummy variable. With respect to that variable, we are integrating and substituting the limits. Therefore, whether you write u or t, doesn't matter. Okay. So, let this be equation number 2. Similarly, consider the third integral. What is the third integral? Integral 2t to 3t e power minus st f of t dt. That is the third integral. So now in this you substitute, put a, use a, t is equal to u plus 2t. This implies u is equal to small t minus 2t okay so whenever you are substituting the variables you are changing the variable three more things you have to do i told you so dt is equal to du okay and when t is equal to 2t u is equal to 2t minus 2t which is zero when t is equal to 3t u is equal to 3t minus 2t which is capital T. Therefore, the integral becomes 2t to 3t e power minus st f of t dt becomes <coughs> sorry, integral 0 to t e power minus s into in the place of t I have u plus 2t into f of u plus 2t into du. Okay. This can be written as integral 0 to t e power minus s u into e power minus 2 s into t into f of u du. Again, since f of t is a periodic function of period t. Okay. Therefore, that's why I am writing f of u plus 2 t is equal to f of u. Therefore, integral, I can take that uh, outside, 2t to 3t e power minus st f of t dt can be written as, I can take this e power minus 2st outside this integral because it is independent of u. Okay. So, e power minus 2s into t integral 0 to t e power minus st f of t dt. Again, instead of u, I am writing uh, t. Okay. 
So let this be equation number 3. Therefore, substituting 2, 3, etc. in 1, we get L of f of t. That is the periodic function of period. So L of f of t is equal to, first term is as it is. So integral 0 to t e power minus st f of t dt plus second integral from equation number 2. What do you have? e power minus st into e power minus s capital T into integral 0 to t e power minus st f of t dt plus from equation number 3 e power minus 2s into capital T integral 0 to t e power minus st f of t dt. So integral 0 to t plus etc. It goes on. So integral 0 to t e power minus st f of t dt is common. I am going to take it outside. That is integral 0 to t e power minus st f of t dt into here first term I am taking that 1 therefore 1 plus what is remaining e power minus st plus e power minus 2 st plus etc. That can be written as I am going to write these terms first that is 1 plus e power minus st plus e power minus 2 st. This can be written as e power minus st the whole square. A per m in m, a per m, the whole power n is a per m into n using that formula. Okay. Plus etc. into integral 0 to t e power minus st f of t dt. Which is equal to what is this 1 plus x the whole, uh, plus x squared and so on. In the place of x I have e power minus st. So that can be written as 1 plus uh, sorry, minus e power minus st, the whole power minus 1 into integral 0 to t, e power minus st, f of t dt. Now, the whole power minus 1, this is using binomial expansion with uh, negative powers, okay. So, 1 by, this is whole power minus 1, that can be uh, written as 1 minus, 1 by 1 minus of e power minus s into capital T, Integral 0 to t e power minus st f of t dt. This is what we want to prove. So if f of t is a periodic function of period t, then I can write it directly as 1 by 1 minus e power minus s into capital T and integral 0 to t e power minus st f of t dt. Okay. Now let us do the problem. If L of f of t is equal to the function where f of t is equal to sin t and 0. Sin t from 0 to pi and 0 from two, uh, zero, pi to 2 pi. This is the definition. Then find the Laplace transform of this periodic function. Given that it is period, a periodic function of period 2 pi. Even if it is not given, you should be able to find out. In this interval, it is the same. Okay, 0 to pi and pi to 2 pi. Therefore, it is 0 to 2 pi. It is getting repeated. That means... 0 to pi it is sin t, pi to 2 pi 0. Again 2 pi to 3 pi it is sin t, 3 pi to 4 pi it is 0 and so on. Okay. So now let us find out the Laplace transform of f of t. So L of f of t is equal because it is a periodic function of period 2 pi. That is capital T in the place of capital T I have to write 2 pi. So 1 by 1 minus e power minus s into capital T is there no in the place of capital T I am going to write it as 2 pi. Integral 0 to t is the formula. So here 2 pi so 0 to 2 pi e power minus st into f of t dt. This is the formula. Now from 0 to pi 0 to 2 pi it is not the same definition. 0 to pi it is defined as sin t. And pi to 2 pi it is 0. So I am going to split it. 1 by 1 minus e power minus 2 pi s into integral 0 to pi e power minus st into sin t dt plus this is the definition of f of t from 0 to pi. Then pi to 2 pi 
e power minus st into in this uh, interval what is the definition of f of t it is 0 into dt therefore this will get cancelled this is the only formula that is 1 by l of f of t is equal to 1 by 1 minus e power minus 2 pi s into integral 0 to pi e power minus st into sin t dt and we have the formula in the previously also previously one class I have explained this uh, to when we are finding the Laplace transform of sin and cos I have explained this formula integral of integral of e power ax into sin bx dx is equal to e power ax by a squared plus b squared into a sin bx minus b cos bx. This is the formula. Okay. So, in the place of a, what do you have? Minus s. In the place of b, what do you have? 1. Okay. Just substitute in this formula. So, this is equal to 1 by 1 minus e power minus 2 pi s into this integral of 0 to pi. 0 to pi will, uh, after integrating, we will substitute. So, minus e power ax into e power minus st into divided by a squared plus b squared. That is minus s the whole squared plus 1 squared into a sin bx. A is what? Minus s sin t. In the place of x, I have t. Okay. So, a minus s sin t minus b. b is 1 into cos b is 1. So, cos t. Okay. In which you have to substitute the limit 0 to pi. That is 1 by 1 minus e power minus 2 pi s into e power. Now, substitute uh, pi. When you substitute pi, e power minus sin pi will get a, will become 0. So, first term I can take this s squared plus 1 also outside so that it will be easy. 1 by s squared plus 1 I can take it outside. Okay. So, remaining e power minus s into pi into uh, minus s sin pi minus cos pi. Okay. For the upper limit. Minus of for lower limit e power 0 into minus s sin 0 minus cos 0. That is equal to 1 by 1 minus e power minus 2 pi s into s squared plus 1 into. Now sin pi is 0, sin 0 is also 0. So e power minus pi s into minus 1. So, minus of e power minus s and this minus minus will become plus 1. Okay. So, that is we can uh, uh, little more we can simplify. I will tell you how. 1 by 1 minus e power minus 2 pi s into s squared plus 1 into 1 minus of, in the numerator, I am going to have 1 minus of e power minus pi s. Okay. So, this e power minus 2 pi s can be written as 1 by 1 minus e power minus 2 pi s can be written as 1 minus e power minus pi s the whole square. Right. That is 1 squared minus a squared minus b squared formula. So, 1 plus e power minus pi s into 1 minus e power minus pi s. Wait, here uh, minus cos pi, no? Though, so, this will become plus 1 only. Uh, e power minus s pi into cos pi is minus 1. So, minus minus plus. Okay. So, in the denominator, numerator, it will be 1 plus only. Both the terms are plus only. So, this can be the denominator can be written as the numerator the same value 1 e power minus pi s 1 by e power minus pi s. 
it is not minus pi by s, it is pi s only. Divided by this term, I have as I have shown here, 1 plus e power minus pi s into 1 minus e power minus pi s into 1 by s squared plus 1. Therefore, 1 plus e power minus pi s and 1 plus e power minus pi s will get cancelled. You will be getting 1 by 1 minus e power minus pi s into s squared plus 1. This is the answer for the Laplace transform. So, if you are asked to find out the Laplace transform of periodic function, you have to directly substitute in the formula. Capital T is equal to whatever is the period of the given function, you have to substitute. If you want more problems uh, using uh, periodic function, please post in the comment so that I can upload more problems. Okay. And practice more problems and one definite question you can expect even the proof of uh, find the Laplace transform of the periodic function of period capital T. Even that proof can be uh, expected for university exam. Okay, please uh, if you like the class, please give a like and share it with your friends so that it will be useful for them also. Thank you so much for listening.